Right, so I'm going to do a little video. Just past uh, the village hall of Overstowey. Steeped in history all around here. I'm going right back to William the Conqueror and the Knights and all that sort of thing. Even further back with the Anglo-Saxon tribes. As pointed out on this um, board here. The moorland retains many prehistoric remains. The name Stowey means paved way. The Anglo-Saxon military road which still runs through the village and over the Quantocks. Before the Normans, Stowey was part of a royal hunting forest belonging to the Anglo-Saxon kings, of which the last was King Harold. The centre of the parish was given by William the Conqueror to one of the knights who built the castle, of which the mound can still be seen opposite Cross Farm. The tower of the church of St Peter and Paul is over 400 years old. The body of the church, although earlier, was heavily restored in the 1840s, but includes notable stained glass windows by Morris and Byrne Jones. It goes on about the Blake family. Well, I've made note of, um, I photographed that. There's the old vicarage ahead of me there. I've parked Alberta down there in the church car park. Over can look in quite a nice scene. So what about? I'm going to have a little wander in a minute. St Peter and St Paul. Yes, yeah, best to get in there now before they close it. We can do a bit more of a wander in a minute. That's quite a nice plaque, isn't it, for the old vicarage? See? That's quite a nice plaque, isn't it? So, that's why I parked back there. You can't park here. trying to rain. We're right near Greatwood and you can get to um, Triscombe Stone from here as well by going back that way. <sighs> yeah. Right then we'll just um, have a look inside a minute. Please keep the door closed to restrict inquisitive swallows. Yeah, i just seen some sort of bird come in here. Yeah, there's a nest up there, look. Is that a swallow or a house martin? I can see the tail, I can see the little bird moving about in there. Ah, there we go, we've got the Ten Commandments there. That's um, like a fresco down on the wall, isn't it? Oh, it's been, it's been, um, Pinned on, so it's on like metal, like lead. Maybe it's lead. I'm not sure. Oh, I say it's dark in here, isn't it? Visitors are invited to contribute towards the repair of the church. Can't even see what we're doing in there at the moment. That light to come on. Oh, there's a lot to see in here, but you can't see it. I don't know where the lights are. Where are they outside? Just have another look. Another I doubt if they would be outside. They wouldn't have the they wouldn't have the switches outside, would they? Well, we come straight in. There's the font. As soon as you enter the church, you've got to be christened. There's the belfry with the lovely stained glass window behind. There's the main altar ahead of us. I said, I can't see no switches. I expect they're in here, but I better not touch them. I'll probably um, set everything off, won't I, if I touch a switch? So it's probably not worth bothering with. It's very dark though, isn't it? It's very, lots of brown wood. That's why, lots of brown wood. They got, have they got a leaflet? 
What's that there? <sighs> and I can't see a leaflet at the moment. There are big books, but it's too dark to see anything. Mind you, this camera is very good at picking up um, light. It's very, it's very good at that. Some lovely stained glass windows. They aren't that old, I don't think. Dedicated to somebody who died in, um, born 1815, died 1906, I suspect they were put up there after that. It's quite a broad looking pulpit there, isn't it? I've managed to get three churches done. Oh, they've put one light on now. I'll have another look for a book look in a minute. Yeah, there's lots of these colourful um, windows, stained glass windows, dedicated to different parishioners, I should imagine. Big Bible there, look. Yeah, that's how the camera's really good at picking up. It can even do things in the dark, this one. Sir Francis Baring Bar of Stratton Park in the County of Hants. <sighs> There's a little bit of light coming through over there that's helping. The reader or whatever you call it, at the back there, Sir uh, Jesus or a shepherd with um, a sheep, a shepherd. Symbolising Jesus, I expect. Saint Paul. The big sword. Very colourful, isn't it? Stained glass. Very colourful. Lots of symbols in it. Rosettes. that would it come on I'm frightened to press anything because it sets an alarm off <laughs> we just have to do this one in the dark doesn't matter doesn't matter here's St Peter he's got less air than St Paul and he's got that keys. One's got a sword, one's got the keys. Keys to the church. Sword to protect it. That's um, for soldiers, heroes. Big plaques to them. And then we've got, what have we got here? Oh, that's... Something could be John Selleck. Died 24th of February, 1657. Sarah's got one of her great grandfathers, got with a big plaque like this, 1703, in, up in um, Croston in Lancashire. Yeah, Dorothy, Mary Dorothy Stanley, 15th something, 1920. Wife of Edward James. 
Wow, look at this. It's like a little meeting room, isn't it, here? A little carpet down. Over Stowey Parish. It's all been um, patchwork quilted. Lots of different names on it. Fern Cottage, Peter Ward. David Worthy. Yeah, it's probably where they sort of meet and have coffee mornings and stuff. Isn't it? That's rather a nice window, isn't it? With, with the yellow effect there. Look. It's rather nice, that, isn't it? Don't know what she's got in there. It's rather pretty, gold colour. And that one there, there's an angel. Holding out the olive branch by the look of it. He is not here, he has risen. There's a little bit of light. I'll probably get the. Uh, I'll, I'll put the flash on. Should get some photos in a minute. I always like to do the video first because you can't video properly when there's people about. Who's this here? Kingdom. Henry Leber here. Lord Taunton died 13th of July 1869. So I presume he's under the floor. Oh, pictures of the church. St. Peter's and St. Paul. Some of the old former vicars of Overstowey. There's one there. Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, sorry, I thought you might lock me in.